There's nothing quite like autumn in the Ozarks. Not nearly so rugged as the Rockies, or wild like the Adirondacks. But here you can find romance, and joy, and harmony, and health. Those are names of Ozark towns. What people call the place they live gives you something of an idea of the people who live there. There's a town called Smackout up the road, named after a general store that couldn't keep its shells full, and a pretty little place called Blue Eye. Actually, two places, Blue Eye, Missouri, and Blue Eye, Arkansas. Folks figured it was a good idea to have a pair. In the Ozarks, you find the road to success runs through fair play and economy. And when you get tired, you can come down from the hills to Mountain Home. There's a comfortable feeling in this town. Somehow it seems beyond the cares of the day. Oh, the news is here all right. Nellie Mitchell sees to that. But even the news is less disturbing, thanks to Nellie. Just go ahead and get your papers. For nearly four decades now, she has set off in the pre-dawn, delivering the news on foot. I don't know when to quit. <laughs> She walks five miles a day, seven days a week, rain or shine. In 38 years, Nellie Mitchell has never called in sick. She has never taken a vacation. Only once, when the newspapers did not get to her, did she fail to deliver on time. Do you have a newspaper hero? I read um, Buckley a lot. But you have to have the dictionary handy for him. <laughs> Not since Harry Truman has a reporter had to walk so fast to keep up with the news. Well, I'm kind of gold, boys. At 86, she is now as much a part of morning as the sunrise. Good morning. Good morning. Nellie delivers the news with an honesty any anchor man would admire. Anything outstanding today's paper? Well, I don't think so. It's the same, same old garbage. Oh, that is for sure. <laughs> What's the biggest news that you've delivered, do you think? I'll never forget when the Battle of the Bulge was is just before Christmas, and I was just, my heart was just bleeding for those poor people over there, those soldiers. And nobody seemed to care about it. Nobody bought that. That's when nobody bought the papers just before a holiday. That's a sad, bad time. That was the year Nellie took over the route from one of her six children. She has resisted pressure to retire, preferring to be the one constant in a world of change. Good morning, Ray. People feel good when Nellie brings the news. She is a gracious reminder of how life used to be how Mountain Home got its name. For today, Bob Dotson, NBC News, Mountain Home, Arkansas.